Do you know the difference between a linear model, an exponential model, and a quadratic model? Can you explain those models? Certainly. Let's start with a linear model. A linear model uses the equation y equals mx plus b. And when a linear model is graphed, it's going to form a straight line. An exponential model uses the equation y equals a times b to the x power. And when you see an exponential model, whether it's exponential decay or exponential growth, you're going to see a curve on the graph. A quadratic model has the equation y equals a x squared plus b x plus c and you know from earlier concepts that a quadratic model is going to form a parabola whether it's an up parabola or a down parabola it is still representing a quadratic model now let's look at a table and determine whether it's linear exponential or quadratic. Here's our table of values. Now we're going to examine the y values to determine whether this is linear, exponential, or quadratic. First, 0 to 3 is an addition of 3, 3 to 6 is an addition of 3, and 6 to 9 is an addition of 3. Because these are all being added the same way with the same value, this is a linear model. And when these values are graphed, we would find a straight line on our graph. Here's another example. Now notice when we look at the y values in this case, the same amount is not being added to each one. So because of that, we're going to look at ratios. We're going to look at the ratio of 9 to 3, of 27 to 9, and of 81 to 27. 3 goes into 9 3 times, 9 goes into 27 3 times, 27 goes into 81 3 times. Because these ratios are all the same, we can say that this represents an exponential model. Now let's look at a few graphs. Here we have a curved graph and you can see that this curve goes from a high point down to a lower point. This represents exponential decay. Here's another graph. Now notice that this graph is a parabola. So right away we know that this is going to represent a quadratic model. Here's another graph. You can see that this is a straight line, so this represents a linear model. By looking at tables and graphs, we can determine whether a model is linear, exponential, or quadratic.